Now in the past five days, Tesla is down a whopping 22%. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at what's going on with the company and answering that main question of should you buy Tesla stock? So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. So what has been going on with Tesla? So I think we all know over the past pretty much a couple of months, we've seen Tesla just become very, very volatile. The year-to-date return is minus 69%, which Tesla has never seen a sell-off that much. Even in the 2020 you know, recession or crash, whatever you want to call it, it never sold off that much. Now, I think the reason why we're seeing a lot of sell-off is because of a couple of reasons. Now, Elon Musk himself blames it on like macroeconomics, which is pretty much just how the market and the economy reacts to the stock market. Now, I overall believe that right now, the reason why we're having so much volatility with Tesla is one, because of Twitter. And I know you might be saying, well, Carter, that doesn't make sense. It's a complete different company. Elon's still focusing on Tesla. Yes, he is. But he has the distraction of Twitter. A lot of analysts believe this to be true, like myself. Now, if you're investing in Tesla, you're investing into Elon. You're investing into his mindset, his plans. But if he's not there to fully execute on those, how can the stock perform? A lot of people think the stock has actually underperformed the S&P right now just because of the distraction of Twitter. Now, I understand too, he had to buy Twitter for $44 billion at a share price of you know $54.20. And in order to fund that deal, he had to sell his Tesla stock. Well, I get it, but you have to understand that investors like myself, why would I want to invest in a company that the CEO himself is actually selling the stock? So why would I want to invest in a company where the CEO is selling the stock? It doesn't make sense. Meaning that he could be believing that this stock is doomed and there's better opportunity elsewhere. Elon's a really, really smart guy, but I overall believe that we're just seeing a lot of a lot of volatility from that. Not to mention right now, another thing that's not helping is these high inflation, this high interest rates. Majority of people in the United States have a car payment. When interest rates are at two, 3%, everybody's buying a car. But now that they're at seven to 9%, no one's buying a car. I, I think that has a lot to do with it as well. Also, right now, Tesla is offering a whole bunch of incentives and promotions to get their sales up in China, especially with their new factories coming in in Texas and Germany. They're still working out the kinks in that. But I overall believe right now we're just seeing a lot of volatility from Tesla for a variety of reasons. It's hard to pinpoint the exact reason, but what's the mindset? What's the plan, Carter? Well, for me, I always think Tesla carries a ton of potential because it does. The company brings in a ton of money. They've had great fundamentals, great revenue. The company has very solid profit margin for a car company, but you have to understand this is a growth stock. This is not a company like Coca-Cola or Home Depot, a company that doesn't move much. This is a growth stock like Google. You know, this is the Google of the automobiles. And you know, with that, being said, you have to understand that there's gonna be volatility with growth stocks. And I just think that's what we see right now. High volatility, high risk, high reward. You know, and overall, yes, historically buying at Tesla lows performs very, very well in the next two years. Why would I not invest a little bit of some money and just hold it, right? I, I think it's smart to put like two, 3% of your portfolio size into Tesla. The reason why is if Tesla goes under, you're only out two to 3%. But if this thing goes back up to its highs, you're doubling your money and then some. So for me, that's kind of my plan, my mindset with Tesla. I think it carries a lot of potential. I think it's very hard to judge the exact reason why we're having so much sell off, but people aren't happy. And that's the biggest thing. A lot of the stock market is emotions. And, and right now people aren't happy and they're selling their stock and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you had any questions, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you guys later. Take care.